So I'm Jamisha Ross. I'm the founder and CEO of Nurse Screen App. I'm very excited to be here and I want to jump right in. Okay, so the challenges that we were faced with when COVID-19 landed on us is workplaces and schools became super spreaders. And that led to the occupational health staff being stressed out, overworked, overwhelmed, and drowning in COVID-19 calls. I remember coming to work one day to 96 voicemails. Who knew my mailbox could hold that many messages? But what troubled me even more was that the calls were never gonna stop that day or the visit so that I could return those calls. So that led to our employees being frustrated because they were having to wait up to 12 hours to get direction. But no worries, Nurse Green app has solutions for those issues. Nurse Screen app can turn those 96 voicemails and those long frustration, that long frustration into a self-screening tool based on CDC guidelines, education and resources in one place. And there is no wait time. You get an answer immediately once you complete the questionnaire. So that leads to employees being more engaged, improve morale and a savings on total, a total savings for occupational health services. So we're turning the COVID chaos into clarity 24 seven, right from your phone. On this screen, I want to introduce you to Nurse Screen app. What you're looking at is the sign on screen for the app. And we're gonna navigate through the app with a video. And I just wanna kind of give you, set the scene here. So you have Nurse Jamisha, she works for an employer that's requiring her to do a screening two hours before her shift. So it's 5 a.m. She's pulling up the app. She's going to log in with her emailed pin. And the app is going to open up to the welcome screen. On the welcome screen, she's going to scroll down to see her local resources. And the bottom, you're going to see all the tabs that she'll use to navigate. So this is the welcome. Next is the profile. She's, this is not her first time logging in. So she's already created her profile. But what she can do at this point is make sure all of her information is accurate by going to the blue pencil in the top right corner. So she goes there, everything looks great. So we're just gonna click done and go back out. Next, she's gonna do her screening. The blue button is what she'll use to access the screening. She's gonna start with her temperature, which is required. This is set up for a threshold of 100 degrees. So she'll get a message, hey, your temperature is elevated. She has symptoms, so she's gonna select that. She'll go through the symptom list and pick her symptom, which is fever. And she's gonna be required to put an onset date for her symptoms. So she'll finish going through, nothing else applies. So I'll go ahead and submit this and go back out to get my work status. So on this screen, she sees her work status. She has to isolate for 10 days. She can click on that to get more details about her work status. And it tells her your first possible return to work date is February 22nd. She also wants to update her supervisor. So she's gonna click on the blue plus sign and an email is gonna go to her direct supervisor. The next tab that you see at the bottom is the daily monitoring. If you're in isolation, it's a good idea for you to start tracking your symptoms. So you can just kind of get an idea of how you're progressing with what's going on. This information doesn't go anywhere else. It's just for her to keep track of how she's feeling and how she's progressing. So she'll hit add. And the next tab at the bottom is vaccine status. This is a tab where you can actually upload and enter the dates of your vaccine doses. And once you have two doses, you get a vaccine pass badge. That's another place where you can upload a picture of your record. At the bottom of the badge is the approximate first date of protection. So it gives you an idea. So we're back to the, we're to the menu now. And the menu, I just wanna show you that all these options can be placed at the bottom as apps as well. But in this example, they're all in the menu. If, you, if, the, if the employer wants to do contact tracing internally, they can use the tracing option at the top. Training is also in the app. So um, right now we have COVID related training videos anywhere from hand washing to stress management because it's stressing everyone out. If you wanna find your local testing locations, you can click there. If you wanna find your vaccination, lo vaccination locations, you can do that. And all of these locations will have um, portals where you can go directly into schedule. 
If you need to contact someone in Nurse Green, you can do that with the next option, contact us. You can get a nurse, technical support, or customer service. And the help us option is for us to get feedback on the app because we want to always look for ways to make things better. On this screen, I want to show you that you can define roles, access based on roles. So this menu has another option, admin at the top. With admin access, you get a, a graphic overview of your results. What are the work statuses? What are the reported test results? What are the vaccination statuses of your employees? And then more details about employees. So now I wanna walk you through a timeline of how Nurse Green app was born. In April of 2020, we were overwhelmed and we didn't even wanna to come to work because we knew it was never gonna stop. In July, we created Nurse Green LLC and the employer version prototype. In August, we had an employer pilot group of 150 that provided positive feedback with no issues. So we decided to move forward in September with the public version, which we created and gained 600 users almost immediately after a news interview. We also in September started doing demos for employers in schools and we're currently doing that. So why is it important to get Nurse Green app in the hands of our end users right now? Because COVID-19 is challenging how we return to work in school and it's affecting our bottom line, our operations. We have two target markets. We have employers with on-site employees and school systems. The size of our market is huge. Nationally, there are 150 million employees we drill down to 99 million that are working on site. And then we drill down a little bit further to 74 million essential workers. Our direct competitors are similar apps. Converser is one, and it's a software for conversations, kind of like a chat bot. And ClearPass is another competitor and they have a pre-check version of um, a screening tool that's you know, similar to what airlines use. And we also have some indirect competitors for those employers that have enough nurse, they have enough resources to get nursing to do all their screenings manually. So what's our competitive advantage? Well, one is you have the real-time graphic dashboard for making staffing decisions. It's customizable and scalable. You have the screening tool, education and resources in one place. It's a one-stop shop. But Nurse screen, stop, nurse screen app does not stop with COVID-19. It can be used for any pandemic response. It can also be used for care management and for workplace illnesses and injuries. And one of the things that we face on a very frequent basis is our first responders are exposed to bloodborne pathogens. They get trained on that every year. But when you have blood shooting to your eye at 2 a.m., all that training goes out the window. And there's no one there to navigate them through the process of post-exposure. And that's where the app comes into place and puts it right in their fingertips. So our strategy is email campaigns, webinars, demos. And we also want to explore partnerships with providers, labs, pharmacies, and PPE suppliers so that we can offer a patient-centered experience. And just imagine someone in isolation they're monitoring their symptoms, but they're starting to feel worse every day. It would be so awesome if they could use the app to schedule a virtual visit. If the provider wants to get some lab work to get more information, they can have someone come out and get their lab. If the provider wants them to start meds, they could get those medications delivered to them or scheduled or arranged for a curbside pickup. So it's kind of like convenience, innovation, virtual, contactless, patient-centered approach to care that's similar to like a DoorDash, but it's for healthcare or Uber Eats for healthcare. So our business model is currently, we have a project fee and a monthly fee, subscription fee, consulting and on-site services. And again, there's an opportunity to gain some revenue from partnerships. So what we're asking is for 5 million to enhance our platform, functionality, those interfaces that we'll need with those partnerships. We wanna add a technology and marketing lead to our team, a service and sales team. And we wanna to get to 2 million users and that could potentially generate 3 million per month. 
And at some point we do want to expand beyond our initial two markets, uh, target markets. So let me tell you a little bit more about myself. I've been a registered nurse for 21 years. I've been specializing in occupational health for the past 14 years. I'm managing a group of 4,000 employees on a $1.4 million budget. And I'm dedicated to finding new ways to serve our patients and work smarter to be innovative in occupational health. Our contact information is here for any questions. And I hope that, you know, someone listening today wants to join us on our journey to making it easy to keep workers informed, safe, and healthy. Thank you.